Hi, in this video we will learn how to integrate uh, notebook environments like Google Collab or Jupyter Notebooks uh, with InstaDeck using webhooks. So I'm using here Google Collab, but this works for any uh, notebook environment. And I'm going to use an example. So if you go to the examples tab and search for table, there's one called data table. If you click it, it will open this notebook, which has um, pandas um, airport a table we can see it here so to test it i'm going to create a new cell over here and copy some code from the lines below and if we run it <coughs> um, it will show some airport data we can see it here and pandas has a, a method called uh, to json which we can use to serialize this table to um, to JSON to send it to InstaDeck. So we are. I'm going to go to the guide. If you go to InstaDeck.com slash blog slash guides and you go to the Python and uh, Panda section, you can find a link to the documentation of uh, to JSON and how to send uh, the snippets to send the data. Now I'm going to copy this part and I'm going to go back here. Oops, I run it again. So I'm going to do that at that airports, that to JSON. And now if I run it, you have to use the orient records option. Now I can see uh, there's uh, a JSON byte array with the representation of the table. And the remaining step is to assign this to a variable and to copy the snippet from the guide. Of course, you can use, uh, if you use the request library or you already have uh, some code for this, you can use it, but here it's available for you to copy and paste. So we are going to import the URL lib from Python 3 and we are going to define this simple function called send. And the remaining part is we need to define that URL, which we'll get now and then call send with the URL and the body. Now to create this URL, we have to go to InstaDeck. We need to create a JSON card because we are generating JSON. And make sure that the detect table and sheet format is enabled. This will detect different uh, formats for uh, JSON and turn it automatically into a table. If you want to learn more about which of uh, which formats are uh, available, you can go here on the guide to the what's uh, webhook section and there's a link there to support the JSON table formats. Most of the formats you get your data are supported, array of objects is a common one, two fields, columns and rows, um, objects with columns as keys, arrays of, of arrays without the headers and array of columns as pairs. If there's any format that you are using and it's common and it's not here, just contact us and we are going to see if we added support for it. So now we have the, our JSON card and I'm going to go here to manage hooks at the top right and click the add button. It will create a unique URL and that maps to the channel configured on this card. So whenever somebody sends data here, it will appear to any card consuming or listening to data on this channel on InstaDeck. I'm going to click here to copy the URL and go back to the notebook and paste it here on the URL variable. And now I'm going to run it and let's go back to InstaDeck and you can see that the data is already here. Once we have it here, we can create some um, some charts, I'm going to do a quick one. Let's count how many um, airports there are per state. So I'm going to drag the state variable here, select count and count by state, sort reverse. I'm going to select the, the magic one on the bottom right of the group by and select bar chart. And we can go to settings, remove the labels and we can do some fancy thing with colors. Select the state count, select the magic wand, number to color in range. 
it will create a new variable that gives it a color according to the value and I'm going to drag that one and drop it in the color field and now we have our bar chart uh, colored according to the count for each state sorted by state so this was how to send data from a notebook environment to InstaDeck, in this case using uh, Pandas and Python to send it. But the procedure is the same for other uh, languages and tools. If you go to the guide, we have a guide specific for our data frames and for other languages and command line tools. So if you have any question, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Bye.